Hello YouTube, this is Salam and this is my brother Paul. I built a trailer recently to house a generator for the house and I built a dolly to be able to maneuver that trailer to be able to put it in tight spot and then I could disconnect the dolly and this way you know the generator will be stable and the dolly will be lightweight and it's not too big the trailer won't be too big it's a small generator I will post that video uh, after this one I'm still working on it but I show picture of that project to my brother Paul and he was interested because he has this trailer and it has a wheel jack for the trailer and he had hard time to try to navigate this trailer into his shop. When I had my boat, I had similar issue. However, I built a dolly for him. I will show you uh, how I built it, and then we come back and I show you how to be able to operate it easy uh, to move this trailer around. I hope you enjoy this video. I cut it and deburred all the metal, and I'm ready to start assembling it. This. And this over here will be the main frame. The axle is made from 2 by 2 inch quarter inch thick angle, a 22 inch in length. This part is inch and 3 quarter outside to outside, and it measures 12 inches. I drilled a half inch hole on both sides, 2 inches from this edge. These gussets are made from the same material and I cut them 11 inches in length from this corner to this corner. And these are thin metal, the 16 gauge in thickness. I want to make it as light as possible so my friend won't struggle with it. This over here is also made from the same material, inch and three quarter, square tubing, 16 gauge. This part is measured 14 inches from this edge to this edge, and this one measure eight inches from the two outside edges. This part is made from inch and a half outside dimension, it's square tubing, 16 gauge thickness and it measure the 12 and a half inches I'm going to drill half inch holes on the mill they are spaced two inches apart and the first one is two and five eight from this edge this part I will weld this ball right here on the top I did the grind all the chrome so it doesn't produce toxic fume when I weld it and this one will fit perfectly in this so when I drill these four holes I will have four position or four adjustments these wheels are used I got them from work they scrap I clean them, I grind them, and hit them with a wire brush, and I grinded these shaft to be able to weld them easy, and the weld will be stronger. However, if you don't have access to something like this, you could buy wheels, these 12 inches in diameter, you could buy wheels, and usually from the hard, hardware store, they come with bushing inside or bearing, and they uh, come in variant of sizes, they have half inch, five, eight, three quarter, or many other. You could buy a shaft the same size or rod, rounded rod, and you could weld it at both ends and drill the end of that shaft or pin and then mount the wheel. Of course, you have to put washer so it doesn't drag on the corner of the angle, and you will have, you know, two wheels, and these will carry most of the load. The caster will be mounted to the end of this one, and this will help to stabilize the dolly. I will show you once I build it the use of this one. I couldn't find one locally with rubber uh, wheel. However, the way I'm going to install it, it's going to be uh, bolted or removable. So if my friend don't like it, he could buy one with rubber wheel. However, he's going to use this dolly 
in his shop, which is concrete floor, so really this will be fine. And finally, the handle is made from the same material as this one. It's the inch and a half square tubing. And one piece, or the main piece, it's going to be five feet in length. The longest this piece, the easiest it is to uh, carry the trailer. So I'll leave this one to its length, five feet. And the other one, you see both of these pieces, they used to be five feet in length. And I cut this part out of this one. This over here, I'm going to mount it as a gusset to help support the five feet pieces or piece. And this is the handle. It's uh, EMT pipe, 23 inch in length. I just find it to this length, so I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to leave it to its length. I'm going to uh, grind this part and weld this, and this will be the handle to operate this dolly. I will start by drilling this on the mill, and then I'll show you how to assemble this part. If you are new to metal working, it's easier to cut 45 degree or any angle if you have stationary bandsaw or a chop saw. However, if you're just using angle grinder, and I showed this in the past in my previous videos, what you do, take framing square, and then mark it. This is 45 degrees. And then just to trace it all the way around. And now if you take your angle grinder and follow this line, you will end up with a perfect 45. This will make the welding easier if you have small gaps. So you could fill it with weld and it will be very strong. I'm going to use a flux core because all the metal over here is thin and it will be fine. And that's how you cut 45 with the angle grinder.
the ball adjustable between 21 and a half inches to 28 inches. I want to adjust it before I weld it to be able to lift it up so I could put the ball directly under the hitch and then, you know, hoist it so it will sit like this. I think about this height is perfect. I will mark it with the framing square and cut it and then try it out. I may have to grind it to where I like it and then I will tack this in place and then I will cut the other one and it will go like this to the top and this will strengthen it and then I will do the handle. Or I may cut for the handle first. It will be easier to cut it around over here and I will weld the pipe for it. It will be easier like that. And then I'll trim it or grind it for perfect fitment and then weld it all the way. If you have hole saw the same size as the pipe you use and you have a drill press or a mill, you could chuck this and then, you know, cut it and it will be perfect all the way down. However, I'm going to use the grinder.
I ended up cutting this part at 60 degrees to this point. And this one over here, I just patched it up. This should fit like this under the hitch. And then you'll be able to maneuver your trailer. Now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and spray paint it and then we go try it out. This really came out lightweight. I was able to unload it from the truck by myself. Silky smooth. Yeah. Easy. It's very easy. With one hand. <laughs> able to maneuver it. Thank you, Salah. So You're welcome, Salah. So. This will become very easy. Uh, one thing to note. I thought about making this into two pieces so we could bolt it together. An island idea by Paul, he said no, just go ahead weld it. Welding it, it's uh, make this lighter weight and also stronger because you know if you bolt it then you're gonna add weight for the brackets and the bolts and all that. Uh, also if you store it, you can just do this and it won't take any space. Or if you want to disconnect it, if you have several trailers and you want to disconnect it, you could extend the ball and then it will support itself like this. Or you could put it on the wall and have strap hold it on the wall so it will be, you know, out of the way and it will take just a little bit space. Otherwise. Really, it's very lightweight and very strong. And I believe it could support or move a trailer way bigger than this one. And really, if we are in the business of selling this uh, dolly, probably we should show ourselves a struggle with that jack, and then maybe bring one of our ladies to move this uh, boat with this dolly. It really it make it easier, don't you think, Paul? It does, very much so, than the double wheel. I tried different floor jacks, and this is e very easy compared to what I was using before. I would like to thank Sayhood Enterprises for this floor jack and my brother Salam here. And what, what's up with the hand? I, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you could just thank him for watching this video and please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.